Hey everyone, so I got a comparison here about if you want to see the best from Sony in the Sony Xperia XE going up against the best of HEC in the HEC U Ultra. So let's get started by priming both these phones on at the same time. Now the Sony is a little bit older, it came out in October, uh, so around 4 or 5 months old at this point. With the U Ultra brand new, just came out this week. And this because that the U Ultra does a better internal specs, Snapdragon 821, 4GB RAM. The Sony has a Snapdragon 820 and 3GB RAM. And you're going to see that will be reflected in this first test where the HTC is going to be the first one to load up. So very fast boot up time here for the HTC. And now Sony's up as well. So yeah, both these phones are on Nougat. And let me just show you guys a look at the design first because both these phones, beautiful design. Um, so you see here at the bottom, both phones, USB-C. Now with the Sony, you do have a headphone jack with the AC, you do not. Uh, so that's pretty disappointing in my opinion. Uh, then look at the top. Now the back of these phones, so let me just turn off the screen. Uh, with the Sony phone, it's an all metal design with the HC more so glass. Uh, so both these manufacturers are kind of reversed. In the past, Sony's were mostly glass, now using metal. Uh, and HTC was mostly uh, mostly metal, now they're using glass. So yeah, a little bit of reversal there. All right, let's go ahead and go to the app page. All right, you guys see everything's closed out. So I'll plan for video, app opening, game opening, web browsing, fingerprint scanner, camera speed, uh, multitasking, and more. All right, first up, jump run to. All right, first up, jump run to. And yeah, I've done a lot of uh, tests with the Sony, extremely fast phone. And this is going to be very close. It should be HEC by a hair, though. All right, next up, CNN. Sony there. iFunny. Looked like Sony there by a hair. You do. Sony. Uh, let's do calculator. Very close. Quack. Sony. eBay. I think that was HTC. Uh, let's do Asphalt 8. So this one is going to be a little bit faster on HTC. And it's going to be kind of a theme here. I think Sony is for the most part faster with the majority of the other apps. The HTC a little bit faster with the games. You know, it makes sense with the, um, with the Sony being or rather with the HTC having a Snapdragon 21. All right, next up, photos. So fast here on HTC, although less the load. ESPN. Sony here. Uh, let's do settings. like HEC there. All right, so I think Sony won the majority of those, um, but it was pretty close. Next up, let's look at into the benchmark. So you guys are gonna see here, a little bit better score here on HEC. Uh, of course, it makes sense, you know, it has a Snapdragon 21 versus 820, uh, four gigabytes RAM versus three. All right, next up, let's do Chrome. So there's going to be a few websites here uh, we're going to do 
Fox News first. And actually, let me just clear out the web browsing. All right, so first up, Fox News. All right, so a little bit faster here on the Sony. Next up, let's do, we'll do MSN. MSN.com. So again, a little bit faster here on the Sony, it's IGN. Again, a little bit faster here on Sony. And then let's do a few more sites. Uh, let's do Sony and then we'll do HCC. All right, so Sony there, HTC. And the ones that HTC wins, ironically enough, is HTC.com. All right, guys, so obviously the majority of those won by the Sony, but uh, not that much of a difference in terms of speed. Um, all right, so in terms of fingerprint scanner, uh, Sony is located right here. HTC is located right here. Personally, I do prefer the position of the HTC a little bit more. Uh, with the XE, I actually have the American version of this. Um, I would need to get the uh, UK firmware on here in order to get the fingerprint scanner. Uh, it's not, it's disabled on the American version. All right, so let's grab the extra performance. Uh, just for disclosure, this is slower than on the XE. The XE fingerprint scanner is faster than the extra performance, but still similar replacement and everything, so I want to show you guys comparison. So obviously pretty fast on both. You can see that the HTC is faster. All right, so next up, let's check out the camera and then we'll do some multitasking. So just keep in mind with the Sony, it's about twice as many megapixels, uh, 23 on the Sony, uh, 12 on the HTC. So you do see the HTC is faster, although Sony, again, about twice as many megapixels. Uh, and we will have an actual camera comparison on my channel tomorrow if you guys want to check that out. In my opinion, the one on the Sony is a lot better. At least in terms of video, I haven't done a picture yet. All right. Um, yeah, and then let's do multitasking. But before that, I just want to go over some more specs. So with the Sony, smaller screen, smaller resolution, lower resolution, uh, 5.2 inches, 1080p, 424 pixels per inch. With the HTC, of course, larger screen, 5.7 inches, 513 pixels per inch. Front facing camera, 13 on the Sony, 16 on the HTC. Uh, so very impressive there for both. Again, rear facing Sony 23, rear facing HEC 12. Um, internal storage Xperia is 32 or 64. On the HEC 64, 128, both of micro SD card support. Xperia 2900 capacity battery, HEC 3000. Sony has the Snapdragon 820, 3 bytes of RAM. Uh, HEC Snap, uh, Snapdragon 21 and 4. Now with the Sony, it is waterproof, the HTC is not. Both, of course, fingerprint scanners, both USB-C at the bottom. Now the Sony is a few hundred dollars cheaper, running around $450, $500. Uh, the HTC around $750 just starting off. And, of course, HTC, no headphone jack, it's pretty disappointing. Um, but it does have the second screen here. So, cool feature, pretty similar to the V20. We'll have more videos on that in the future. All right, guys, so last, let's just do some multitasking. And let's go, so we'll do CNN. Pretty similar. Let's do iFunny. 
Similar, I think maybe a fraction of second faster on HTC to temper on two. Now I think it's gonna, yeah, see, it restarts here on the Sony, on the HTC, see it's up from, you know, our last point. And that's what I noticed also during the practice speed test. Um, so I think overall the HTC has a little bit better multitasking. We'll do some more though. You do? All right, so restarting for both of these, uh, but you guys see obviously better here on HEC. eBay, oops, well, let's bring it up. eBay next. Sony there. Uh, let's do another game, Asphalt 8. Okay, so yeah, better here again on HCC. See with Sony, it's restarting. Let's do ESPN. So better here on the Sony. Photos. I think that was actually maybe a tad bit better on the Sony. Uh, Chrome. I think a press of a weight there on HCC. Uh, we'll just do one, one more with the camera. All right. So I mean, I think overall the HCC is a little bit better multitasking. Uh, you know, I mean, especially for reloading games, definitely better with that. So yeah, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. So I think overall, you know, if you're a gamer, you would probably prefer uh, the HTC because, you know, it has a better, uh, better internal processor. You guys saw that with loading up the games, doing multitasking with the games. But for a lot of other stuff, the Sony's actually a bit faster. Uh, including some of the more basic apps, including web browsing, they get a little bit, uh, a little bit better optimized with that. Um, aside from speed, uh, you know, there's a lot of other things going on here. Like Sony, for example, excellent rear-facing camera, definitely better in my opinion than the one on the HTC. But then on the HTC, uh, of course, you got excellent front-facing camera. I mean, very good on the Sony also. We'll do a comparison there. Uh, you got larger screen, higher resolution. You have the second screen. Um, so yeah guys, obviously both these phones, advantages, disadvantages, just keep in mind the Sony is a few hundred dollars cheaper, get it for around $450, $500. Uh, the HTC just launched $750, i am sure it'll come down in price, um, but definitely something to keep in mind. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more because we'll be doing a lot more comparisons for both these phones, uh, you know, versus Galaxy, iPhone, all that. Uh, see you guys. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe for more and let me know in the comments if you want to see next.